well it's about 175,000 degrees just kidding it's over 100 degrees anyways out here today got my cousin Caleb with me and we borrowed my neighbor's skid steer and so we're looking to put a a pond in here on my new property so it shouldn't take us long we're not looking at something extravagant basically just a watering hole for the deer so we're going to figure out an area then we're going to get to work on this skid steer here and just kind of get something scooped out that'll hold water Caleb there was a spot right here behind you that I was looking at that was already a hole that I think might would work instead of us getting down here in this mess you know what I'm saying we'll go up here and look at it all right so I think what we're going to do here is we've already got kind of a little washed out hole we're just going to take the skid steer and clean this out a little bit Well, Caleb just headed out and this project is somewhat complete. I'm gonna go through and, and run over it with the side by side a bunch and try and pack it down. But anyways, turned out pretty good. We have got some sort of thing that looks like a pond. Now the question is, is whether it'll hold water. It doesn't need to hold a whole lot of water, even if it's just a, a foot or so. That's something that will consistently hold water, an area for these deer to come and hit uh, hit on this watering hole. Whenever we were going through here and examining this property, uh, as we were driving through here, we noticed in this area, and I'll go ahead and walk over here, back here behind me, and there was actually a doe whenever Caleb pulled up back there in uh, that greener grass. You can tell that it stays uh, a little wet in here. And basically what it is, it's just all this runoff drains down into this. Now that's dry right now, just because we haven't had a whole lot of rain at all here in Arkansas. But you can tell that whenever it rains, this is probably the wettest spot on this sticker edge of the property. Now when we break this down for hunting application in my eyes, when it's a hot day, you know, got a strong south wind, the idea is to come to a spot where even on a hot day, deer are going to be inclined to move, especially if they're bedding within 100 or 50 yards of this pond in this thicker stuff and we've already got a really nice spot uh, that we can set up in to overlook this watering hole here and i'm going to go back in here so typically on those hotter days you're going to get those southern winds and if i were to hunt this from this spot right here on a south wind my wind is just going to be basically blowing right back behind me out into this field all right so if i kneel down right here kind of emulating where a blind would be I've got a really easy shot to the other side of the pond, about 20 yards. I would imagine if they're going to come out here and hit on this watering hole, they're going to hit on the furthest side of it, so I don't have to worry about them getting up close and personal to me. I mean, it may happen. It could be a really good spot, and then I've got all this cover here uh, around me that I can take and brush in this blind. I guess we're done. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, you know, I'm no expert, but I'm just trying to do small things that'll hopefully improve my property. Got a lot more management stuff coming your guys' way. Deer season's right around the corner. Hopefully you guys are out 
doing some stuff, whether it's on private property or public. Did some scouting on public. I think yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah. So just getting ready for deer season, and it'll be here before you know it. Anyways, we'll see you guys later. Peace out. Big old 180 right down here. Getting a drink of water. Boom! Right from the bushes, he gets shot and runs off into the woods and dies. That's the game plan. That's the game plan. Won't you take